Our Cruise Master BT50 that we take on our rat runs already has one rat run under its belt. So getting it ready for our 2022 rat run, we made a couple of modifications to it. Up front, we removed the TJM bull bar and fitted a unique 4x4 bar. So as part of being part of this big group, we have access to a bunch of great new companies that we can trial their products. So we fitted this crawler bar from Unique on just to test it out. Great thing about these bars is because they're quite low profile, they are substantially lighter than a lot of the big bars on the market, which did help the weight on the front axle of the BT50. It generally performed pretty well. We did have a couple of issues with things coming loose along the way, but that's to be expected on the type of rides that we travel on. Attached to the crawler bar is a set of spotlights and wait for it, they are the Nava Ultima 180 Mark II LED spotlights. The good thing is though that their light output is as long as their name. They are a really good set of spotlights. We've got a set of 215s on our Ram as well and had it on our 200 before and they, they really do produce a good amount of light for their size. Also in the bar is a, the 12,000 pound winch that we had from last year, except this year we've changed it over to the Max Trax rope. The idea of that rope is that you can minimize the amount of uh, metallic parts in the recovery system. So the idea is to use soft shackles and that type of thing on that rope. Now, moving along, this year we have got a roof rack on the BT50. This is a first off prototype um, roller Titan tray. This is the new Mark III version. It's got a heap of new features on it that I can't talk about yet that all come out when the product released. But we were trialing that on our rat run. And last of all, and probably one of the biggest differences that we made to the BT50 this year is the suspension package in the vehicle. If you watched our wrap up of the 2021 trip, you would have um, heard of me talking about the experience we had with the um, suspension package at that point. That suspension was really quite firm and you really noticed it on the corrugations. It was, it was reasonably uncomfortable. Uh, we spent a bit of time working with the manufacturer of that kit but didn't, couldn't really get anywhere with them. So in the end, we decided that we would change the kit out. So now in the BT50 is a full set of ARB suspension it is the BP51s we purchased for this one, so they have got two-way adjustment, compression and rebound, they're big bore monotube shocks, and those combined with their springs has really transformed the ride of this vehicle. It's completely night and day. The guys that were driving this didn't complain as much as they did last year. Obviously, the rides were definitely rough, but due to the new kit in this vehicle, it was a completely different experience driving it far more pleasant for those long days in the saddle. Um, one of the changes we might make in the future is getting a bit more storage space on the BT50. We've been talking about putting a dog box or small canopy on the back of the chameleon tray. So if, we, if and when we work out what we're gonna do with that, we'll get it out on social media. So make sure that you keep an eye out on our YouTube, Instagram and Facebook pages to make sure you don't miss out.